This is a video explaining how you can connect up a double pole double throw switch which has three settings forward, reverse and off. This is an entry level project to introduce you to digital circuits. A DPDT switch can be used on a retractable washing line. The washing is wound out and when it is dry the motor is reversed and then it is wound back in again. You will need a collection of components including a breadboard, a DC motor, a DPDT switch, some sticky tape and about 10 connecting leads. You will probably need to solder 6 leads to the base of the DPDT switch so that they can be connected to the breadboard. As well, for a power supply you can use either a standard USB power supply buck and boost converter as you can see here or simply use two AA batteries as you can see here. You can find more details of the components at link 1 below the video. Make sure you connect all the components exactly as in the schematic diagram. If you are using the USB power supply buck and boost converter, simply connect the positive and negative leads in the same place as you would the leads from a battery pack. When working with digital circuits, it helps if you can visualize how the current passes through the components and the breadboard, as you can see here. You can find these schematic diagrams at link 2 below the video. Now I will explain a little bit about breadboards. If you are already familiar with breadboards, you may wish to skip this part. The breadboard has polarity so it has positive and negative sections. Ensure that the positive and negative power leads are plugged into the correct corresponding sections of the breadboard. This can be on the top or the bottom. You should remember that these sides flow horizontally and that these sides in the center flow vertically. You should also remember that there is actually no connection across the center of the breadboard. So if you want this side to connect to this side, you're actually going to have to connect them using either a lead or a component. A word of advice if you are using the USB power supply buck and boost converter. You should probably set the voltage quite low for this project. If it is too high, it might be hard to see if the motor is going forwards or in reverse. Be extremely careful to connect the motor and switch correctly before connecting the power. If this is done incorrectly, you could destroy your buck and boost converter. Also make sure the leads are secured using a screwdriver so they do not slip out. It is a good idea to stick some tape on the tip of the motor just so you can easily tell if it is going forwards or in reverse. If you have done everything correctly, the motor should spin clockwise and then counterclockwise when the switch is pressed. If you do connect the wires and it does not work as intended, carefully check all the connections and compare them closely to the diagram. The six leads connecting to the switch can be easy to confuse, so trace each one by one. Also ensure your soldering has been done properly. You may also want to switch components, especially if they are old. The power source can often be the culprit. 